Hey there slackers, welcome to Remedy Games, my name is Twisted and today we are going to be playing some Concrete Jungle. So, what the hell is Concrete Jungle? Concrete Jungle is a city building puzzle simulation game in which you use a deck of cards, which are actually buildings, to place them all in a lane, try to get as many points as possible and try to move along the city lane. It's actually really, really difficult to describe, so let's just jump right into the game. This game is coming out today, it should be out by the time this video is up. If it's not out yet, it should be like within a few minutes, I'm gonna try to time it perfectly. I do have a code from developer, the pre-release code, and I played like two hours of this game yesterday. It was so... this game is really, really fun. It has some amazing voice acting, has amazing art, it's really, really quite unique, it's really, really quite fun. We're gonna, playing, we're gonna start playing a solo game, which is basically not a campaign, it's just a, like a real solo game. We're gonna play a 10 columns, that's actually go up to 20 columns. Let's go to 13 columns, I'm pretty sure zero. We're gonna play with the default character, I only have two of them unlocked right now. They all have their own talent trees and whatnot. I'm gonna play with, the, with Lane Thompson. And we're gonna play with the default deck, here is your card deck. You can have a lot, have a lot of cards, you can, some of them are locked. There's no microsystem action, you unlock everything through gameplay and everything through the campaign you know, using the defaults. So let's uh, start playing, yeah. So, jump right in. So what is this game all about? This is our field, this is our playing field. We have buildings that we can place around in these squares and they all have... We have, okay, we have five buildings on the side. We can only place the first two, we can switch between them by clicking on them or just pressing E on the keyboard. And you can only place these two, you can see the, the, the cities that are coming out, that are gonna come soon. And also, you can see that you have a uh, number of cards in a pickup def in a pickup pile and number of cards in a discard pile. We can press Q, we can look at our deck, and we can also buy stuff in the shop once we fill up this bar, and we can also get skills once we fill up this bar. This bar is filled up by placing the buildings. When you place a building, this number in the yellow triangle, actually yellow uh, rhombus, gets added to your count here. So you can see if we place this, we're gonna get three of them. If we place this one's gonna get zero because that's something that's relevant. This is a uh, it's the second bar. This is our what's the name of this productivity bar? Not productivity cost. Uh, column requirement. I, I can actually write it in the card to see this expand. Yeah. So as we accumulate these points, the let's just place the building. Let's uh, place the building. Plus one to this tile. We're gonna have one tile here. I'm gonna place a shop. It's gonna add a number here. I'm gonna place a house. Houses are, are the ones that collect points. So if a building collects points. It, it will tell you in the bottom of the card. You can place this here, and now we have two points in this column because we are getting points from this. So, initially we require three points to fill out a column. Once we fill out a column, I can actually just do it here to show it off quickly. Once you fill out a column, the column will disappear from the map and another column will open. We can press this to see the past columns if you want to look at this stuff, but you can turn it off if you want to have things uh, a bit more um, condensed. So, once uh, when we place the buildings, the orange number gets added to this bar. Once this bar fills up, the requirement for all future columns goes up by one. So you cannot play in, you can play indefinitely, technically, if you're really, really good, but there's always gonna be like some kind of limit. Because you, you, your requirement will keep going up and up and eventually become impossible to complete things. Okay, so fact, we have a factory. Factory adds a lot of lot to our old one to this, and also it reduces the amount of, you can place it like in a very off location, like here, it reduces the amount of points of these tiles here. So we place a house here, we will have minus one tile, minus one point here. And if we place a supermarket here, it will go up to zero because zero plus, minus one plus one is zero and this tile has zero net worth. Okay, are you trying to, are you, do you realize what's going on? You probably do realize what's going on. It's, uh, it's, once you get in the groove of it, it actually gets quite simple. But I kind of messed up this level completely. Let's restart quickly. Yeah, let's restart because I just showed up everything randomly. So let's actually just try to play the game for real this time. Let's actually just place a lot of these. You can switch between them by pressing E. Place a house here. Factory, we are gonna place the factory thing here because it's gonna give us extra points. House, I don't wanna place a house here. I think I wanna like place a house uh, maybe on this style. Also, let's place a house on this style just to be ready. Supermarket. You place like one of them. This seems like a good location. A restaurant. I could place one here that's gonna up the points that I have over there. Factory, I wanna place it in a location where it won't mess up my current building. So this seems like a like an okay location. We can add a green here that's gonna increase the score of this and it's gonna go up. We have enough points, we can open the other menu. We can buy a random card. Uh, so the cards that have like a building in a circle, they are in your deck non-stop. They will once you use them, they will go back into the deck, they will be reshuffled. These cards, these cards that don't have the swirly circle are one use cards. 
they all have their own special effects. Also, there's card colors. You can see our ratios here. If you if you place cards of the same color near one another, let me actually try that. Let's actually place a shop here and the supermarket here. You can see that these three buildings all are surrounded by the same road. Because that's one city block. Now there are cards that modify city blocks. We do okay. Plus one selected adjacent block. So we can go to community hall. And once we get that card in our deck, we can up the value of this block of all the locations in this block by one. Yeah, this game is actually, it's it's really, really fun. It's actually really, really, I, I like it a great, great deal, I have to say. You can actually place this here, you get the block size economy bonus. It's connected to the same thing. And uh, we can also do this here. It will not be the same block because block has a block has a maximum of four buildings in its um, area. We can do this to up the stuff here. Or we could do something a bit more finicky. We could do something like that, place a house here and just improve the value of this block by one of all the buildings and that will clear out two rows at the same time as as i said you can click this button to see what you please you can see your entire city and but you don't have to look at that if you don't want to something it's useful sometimes it's more uh it's similar to just look at the things that you have right now okay so you that's basically most of the things in this game mode there are other game modes there is multiplayer actually up to four players can play on the same map it's a two, two versus two multiplayer you can play one versus one one versus two also or three versus one if you want to be masochistic but yeah it, it works similar to this it's actually quite simple once you see it you're gonna realize it immediately you're gonna immediately understand what's going on okay so i kind of messed up this because i can only get to this one up to two but if i for example place let's, let's place a factory here let's also place a green here and up the side by one shops let's up this by one supermarket let's do that over there we can place a house here it's gonna give us three points we're gonna place a house here it's gonna also give us two points we need one more point over here how can we improve that i don't know it's gonna be tricky you can do this a house i don't want to place a house there it's a house here a shop let's place a shop here we have, a, we have three purchases available so we should probably buy some stuff um uh, look by the skill it's basically a talent tree, you can only buy these things a certain amount of time, but they're always fixed depending on your character. So we could add an art house cinema to our Lex list, or we could replace a chosen card with a gazebo, if we want. But once we spend more more points, we can unlock this tier. So if we, for example, you can see our progress bar here. If we buy the, I don't know, the market, and then we buy, oh, renovation, I really, really like renovation. It's actually quite awesome, I one of my favorite cards in the game right now. Uh, maybe it's bad, I don't know, but I think it's really cool. Let's buy the library. It has a weak point. Let's buy the market because it has a lot more points. It's going to be more useful. So now we can actually buy stuff in this tier if we have enough points. It's going to be great. Also, the rain effects, you can turn them off if you don't like to see the weather change, but you can have dynamic weather, you can have static weather. Whatever you please, this game. The world in this game is your own oyster. All right, let's do that. Green, it's going to be awesome to fix this. And we can get, we can get a house here. That would be so nice. Let's get a house here that's gonna fill up the row. Okay, so I kind of messed up. I wasn't paying attention. So we don't have any houses in this row right now. So we need to find a way to improve these tiles to make them not suck. Because right now they suck the big ball. And I don't like that. I could renovate this tile over here and get it plus one. And I can actually just... Renovation. Okay, I need to actually place something before using the renovation. Oh, I don't have to place the renovation. That's fine. Good, good to know. Market, I could place it wherever. Let's just place it here, actually. Let's get a green here. Oh, actually, I messed up. I didn't actually mess up, but I thought the renovation just added a building and didn't actually add plus one. That's annoying. Oh, well, we can do that with the shop quite easily. Restaurant. Let's get it, like, over here in this low-value position. This is one big block. House to collect points. This is a good location for collect points. Supermarket to collect points. We can place it here. It's gonna raise the value up a little bit. We can place a green here, but we might as well place a factory here first because it's gonna that are always gonna disappear from our playing field. Let's do that over there. Houses collects points. That should be enough. It will create a block when you look at the entire map. Yeah, it looks actually quite nice. I like the city. There's a lot of empty space, but it looks lively and awesome. All right, a factory. I really, really like this game. I recommend this game. You should, if you like games like this, uh, I think it's really good. It runs very smoothly. It should probably run smoothly on all machines. And if you have a crappy PC, it, it just seems like a simple game like that. It's also really fun. It's actually really unique. It has really, really well-designed game mechanics, and I'm really having quite a lot of fun with it. 
into I'm not playing really I'm playing kind of poorly because I'm talking and not really I'm just placing buildings randomly without actually focusing and thinking about the future. But we are doing quite okay, I feel. Could be a lot worse. I wanna place a house here. So why do I have so many houses? Give me let's actually buy some stuff. Uh, I think I need to buy one more thing here. Look at the renovation of like those. We have two more points. Park Square is really good. Uh, let's buy a skill here. Let's add a spectacular renovation. Yeah, it, only one, but it will help out. We can up this one quite easily. The completion, if we need. To. Let's actually make a block here. And yeah, just so adjacent tile. We could up this tile, or we could just do this. Let's renovate this bad boy. Let's place a park square. It's gonna up the value of a bunch of stuff. And we could also renovate this one, but we could just place a shop to make a. Oh, I didn't place a shop. I, I placed an innovation. Ah, oh, crap. I yeah, it was the wrong block. As I said, I'm not paying much attention. It's it's all right. Nothing in the world. We will waste a little bit of points, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I actually want to place factors here because this will disappear. So let's actually get all those points if we can. While we can, we could buy some more stuff now. Let's get another more stuff here. Let's get. This increases the block size. Mm, let's get a community garden. All right, it doesn't collect points, but it is a green green card, so it will merge with the green buildings. Um, so I kind of messed up here, but we can still fix it by using this house collects points. I probably want to place this. I don't know. I want to place. Adjacent building. Um, let's actually place a shop here. We will lose the ability to place stuff here. We have a lot of green cards. Why do I have so many green cards? We have eight green cards. Half of our deck is green. That's not good. Office tower. Uh, we can um, place this building on top of it, it uh, itself and it will give us a bunch of points. So that's good if you want to invest in the future. Okay. This is our progress bar, by the way. You can see how much we have until the game ends. 30 blocks was maybe a bit too much for the. Just to showcase the game, but I think it's actually fine. I don't mind. I have I'm having a lot of fun. Uh plus three max block size. I think I'm gonna increase the block size of this. Uh houses, a lot of houses. A lot of houses. Office tower, let's place it like here, I think. Factory, I'll place it in the middle of freaking no, we have a history bar here by the way. You can see what we did. Plus on to adjacent tile, that's actually awesome, we can do this quite easily, that will clear out two rows. Or yes it will, okay, good, 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 good. We can do that, we have enough stuff to buy more things. Also an economy for each other building in a block, but that, we don't have any blue blocks right now. This would be our only, I guess it's actually teal or something, I think that's teal. I suck at little colors, I, it's, it's just green and blue to me. I don't really know the difference, I mean I know the difference, but I never use them because... That's just me. Uh, let's get plus economy, yeah. I like that a lot. Uh, let's place more stuff here. Also, that will increase. By the way, you can see that we need four now because we raised our like uh, expense stat. Plus one to look at the adjacent tile. Let's do it like that. Okay, yes, I know. House click points. You can actually click on the buildings and see what's up with them. Uh, switch here. You can look at the things. You can double click to see the card that's used there. And see the text and whatnot. Um, that's a lot of points. I think we may have messed up a little bit unless we can buy like a renovation. Max 16. So I definitely want to like target building. I want to get as many points here as possible. Mm, collect points. That plus one click adjacent tile. That's not enough for this thing still. I shouldn't have actually placed a factor there. I could have used a house. That was my mistake. Um increase this and let's get over here and let's get plus economy. That will allow us to buy a card. Maybe renovation? No? Okay, we can get the this one. It's gonna help out. So we will be able to solve this lane without any issues. So this lane is done for. This lane is not finished yet, but we can maybe like help it a little bit by doing this. Placing another house here. And way too many houses right now. Way too much housing in our city. Shop. Can improve that quite a bit. Renovation. Let's renovate. Let's not renovate the wrong thing. Let's renovate the right thing. Shop. 
Okay, there it goes. Oh, let's place the off star like right up there because we can place it on top of each other. Um, it will make a block. I can buy some stuff. Renovation. Let's look at the renovation. Yeah. Or houses. Too many houses. Collects points. I shouldn't have done that. I think. Oh, uh, it's okay though. I can do the super. I can do the supermarket soon. I can place this over, over here. This will increase the points of these ones. It will decrease the points of these ones. We can do a renovation here. We can do a park square to actually increase a bunch of good stuff. We can place a house here. Place a park square in this lane. That will increase a lot of good stuff. We can renovate this one to get more points. Awesome. We still have negative two here, which sucks the big ball. But it's not the end of the world. Make a big block here if we want to. We can use greens. Um, plus one to Jason Tile. Yeah. Is a shop. Can we get more useful things here? What do we have? We don't have this thing here. Protective building card to your deck. Can I add more, more of these? I cannot. I'll use both of them. Add a sculpture to your deck. Add a ballet school. Badrhaus cinema. Gazebo. Let's do adjacent tile. Uh, will that help us? Uh, that will help us out. Place a chosen card with a gazebo. Let's place a house. We have way too many houses, I feel. So I don't, I don't think one of them will play a big difference. Green plus one to adjacent tile. Let's do this. Gazebo plus two to adjacent tile. That will not be enough, though. We still need a renovation. So let's actually build a few factories in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully, get a renovation. Park Square. Should definitely, like, something like this. Office tower can go here for more stuff. Can we get a renovation car? Please say yes. Oh, we have a police station. That's actually awesome. So what a police station does is, is it increases the points of all buildings in the lane, of all tiles in the lane. So we can just place a bunch of houses. We're gonna up this lane like so much. Place a bunch of houses here. Make a big lane. I improve this thing. Townhouse collects double the points. It's awesome. Police station can go all the way there. That will up the lanes. Awesome. Place a shop here, double the points. We need five now, which is getting kind of tricky. Okay, let's place this here. Collect points, office tower. Let's actually place a house here. Where's our office tower here? Let's actually just up it a little bit. Can we buy some good stuff? Fire station is similar to the police station, but it goes left and right instead of just down. Mm. Okay, duplex. Awesome card. I love it. House. MD. This is here, place a shop over there. Park Square can go in this lane quite easily, but I won't be able to do something here. Um, I think I want to place it like here, actually. Yeah, and then get a green here. That should be good enough. That will remove three things. A duplex. Flex points plus two to self. I'll place it here, I think. Oh, and more column target. We are actually really close to the end of the level. Which is really great. Place a restaurant, place a townhouse. Um, I'm not actually paying much attention to what's going on right now. Let's get a gazebo plus two that will not actually complete the requirements because I need one more. So I want to ideally get a house here. Get some factories on this side. Uh, let's get a green here. Cannot buy anything yet. We need one more. Um. We need five here, right? Okay, that could be tricky. I don't know if that's doable, actually. Um, let's double the points. Ten house, I want that. It's really good. Gazebo. Okay, we can buy something. Please, police station. That's actually exactly what we need right now. Also, plus two adjacent tile. Adjacent tile. That, that should be... Oh, that's actually more than enough, because this collects double points. Right, it's a duplex. I forgot. That's all actually more of my complaints, that it's sometimes not obvious what each tile is. I mean, I wish there was like a modifier like Alt or Control that you could just press and it would show you the image of the card like uh, press Control and you would see like the uh, the card. This card, a little card above him just so you can tell at a glance what everything is. It could be a little bit card but I think that would be awesome. By the way, this is the end of the level. When we reach here, we are done. We didn't waste any lives which is awesome. If you mess up our lane, you can remove it by clicking this button here. It will delete everything in the lane that it will cost you a life. A life. And you can gain more lives by um, doing stuff, basically. 
if you if you don't have any lives and you cannot complete a lane, you it's game over. So you messed up. Just so you know in the future. Uh, shop police station. I want police station ASAP. Yeah, let's get that. Get double points. Let's actually get a police station like in this lane. That's gonna give everything one to everything. Awesome. He's got a bunch of houses here. Um, shop. That should be enough for that lane. I don't have any. I don't have any houses here, which is real bad actually. Can do parks over here and get a house here maybe. Sub adjacent tile, I guess. That's good. Supermarket. I wish I placed it elsewhere. Um, office tower. We don't have. That's a police station. Supermarket. It will give us two points total. That, is that? That's not enough. We need six. Actually, no. We need a. Uh, Need five. Let's actually give it a go. Mm, I'll just improve this thing. Collect points. I kind of want to like get to restaurant first. Uh, do I need any points elsewhere? I do need points here, for example. Yeah, you can buy something. Can we get like a renovation or something? Theater renovation duplex collects points plus two to self. Okay, that's gonna be actually awesome. Prison collects points inverted. Interesting, huh? I've never seen a building before. It's kind of cool. So to still collect points, tenements. Observatory. Let's get this. That will be enough, right? Yeah, we have it soon, awesome. I can do this, uh, let's place tenements here, that should complete this, yeah it did, totally totally did, plus one to split adjacent tile, we only have one house, which is really bad, we won't be able to do that without a renovation, so we need to like invest in more things, house click, clicks points, unless we can, no we cannot make this, merge. let's just place a bunch of stuff, try to get, oh, I'm sure I, I upgrade this, but I can't, oh, click double the points, I can place it here though, uh, plus two to six, six adjacent tile, that's exactly what we need. Factory. Okay. We could use another police station or something. That's doable. Houses collects points, we can place that here. And there's nothing... Oh, I should have maybe placed that instead. Office tower, we can place it here. Get more points. Please give me a renovation or something. Ah, oh, man, no renovation. Hmm... I don't like any of these. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. oh wait, I'll, I'll use both of them. Ah, crap. Hmm. Well, something gives a lot of industry. Department store gives us four. I think that's the best option. Yeah. Um. I mean, I could just uh, leave the lane, but I, it's I'm so close. It's so close. I don't want to do that. Okay, we could improve like stuff around here to almost enough. And I actually messed up. I need, I really, really need like a police department or something, department store. Add on card to the every time building is linked to. Interesting. Okay, we can do this. Green. Um, like it's not relevant at all. Restaurant. Let's link this over here. Houses. I need more points. That place a factory over there, a shop. Oh, messed up this lane too. Oh crap. Okay, we have something to buy. Can we get a uh, office tower? Not good enough. Uh, 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 scholarship. Scholar. Scholarship? Really? Plus one to a tile of your choosing while also removing any negative points. But that's not gonna be good enough. I'm gonna actually buy this, this seems awesome. Supermarket. I don't think we're gonna have enough room to do everything here. Fortunately. Um political plant, yes, do that. We can get two purchases now. Okay, what can we buy? Um Another office tower. Man, I, I'm just like 
hospital. Oh yes, that's what we need. That, that's gonna be good enough. That's gonna be actually what we need. We have the slot to place. We need to place it in here. So not, let's not place anything there. We need to just be careful not to fill that area up. Need to look at the hospital. The hospital is coming. Awesome. Park square. Houses and hospitals should go here and it will complete the level, right? Unless I'm wrong. I'm wrong. How am I wrong? What, what did I mess up? How did I do the wrong maths wrong? I don't have a thing here. Oh, shit. Um... Well, that's kind of disappointing. We can try a little bit more. Office tower, go up there again. We can buy something. Oh, man. I don't know how to improve these at all. Okay, we need this. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna buy... Uh, like something like food processing plant, then we can with our next next few points we can get that if we have the chance to get the points. Uh, collect points, collect double points. I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, houses, food processing plant. Let's place it there, and we won't actually have enough room, I think, which is annoying. We won't have. I won't be able to get the thing we need. That kind of sucks. We're gonna have to withdraw one of them, maybe. I, I'm like one point short of succeeding. Oh crap. Really? One tile short before I can do that. So again, that's gonna be game over for us. We cannot place a factory anywhere. Yeah. We have to delete a lane. It will open up another pad, but the level is over anyway, so we are done with uh, this level. Unlock the greenhouse, that's awesome. Alright, you get experience from everything, so no matter if you play the campaign or the solo modes or versus or whatever, you get experience for everything. By the way, this game has awesome voice acting. Let's actually take a peek. Where is the first level? This one. It has amazing voice acting. It's really, really surprising. Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey, and I'm here to show you the ropes. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor or W, A, S, and D keys. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R and F keys. In front of you, there is a small grid upon which you can place buildings. Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Let's draw some now and get started. That will do nicely. At the top here is the next card in the It's so box. good! It's I really, really like the voice acting. I really like it a lot. But I'm gonna actually end this uh, video here. If you guys enjoyed this game, if you enjoyed watching me play it, I'm gonna play more of it. Just let me know in the comments. I think this game is really cool and would like to play more of it. I could play like through the entire, entire campaign. I could just restart my progress and go through it. Uh, the levels do take quite a bit sometimes, but it's 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 really fun. It's a it's a really good game. You should if you like games like this, this is something you should definitely definitely pick up on Steam. Yeah, I'm gonna actually end this video here. Thank you guys much for watching. My name's been Twisted from Hanabani Games, and I will see you next time.